Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Avia. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be testing out and wearing the new ColourPop No Filter Foundation. I'm so excited about this foundation. I absolutely freaking love ColourPop. Almost everything ColourPop comes out with that I have purchased, I loved. I love the concealer. As soon as they came out with the concealer, I was like, I know they better come out with a foundation and of course they did they launched 42 new shades and I picked up color one deep dark 195 um thank God they had a chart because I did not want to have to buy multiple I'm not about that life but then as I purchased it and was clicking on it like right after I pressed the send button I was like damn I should have brought the 195 in the I think the next number up was 200 um, just in case that the color wasn't just right but two of the colors that they mapped to the 195 deep dark 195 um, 360 mocha fit me foundation and the 450 Fendi foundation I wear those both I wear both of those foundations so I was like this gotta work so here is the packaging it's a glass bottle which I mean I would have took plastic too because I mean I've broken glass foundation bottles but it's a nice comes with a pump it locks it was twelve dollars you hear this twelve dollars so here it is it's really nice they also came out with no filter setting powders I purchased banana and medium deep um they also came out with like press powders translucent press powders um, I was not interested in it, so I didn't purchase it, but I was definitely interested in trying these, and these were also $9 a piece. I, um, they didn't come out with the primer, so I'm just going to use my Cover Effects Blurring Primer. Put that all over th the face. And I am going to do what I normally do with, um, after my primer, I'm going to set it with the banana powder. It's kind of small. It's 8.5 grams 0.3 ounces um I don't have my Sasha buttercup in front of me but Sasha is definitely bigger than this but this is also nine dollars almost half the price <coughs> Woo. she's she's definitely yellow I'm about to look real ashy y'all gonna um Pump, pump it on my hand first. This is it on my hand. She's a runner, which means she'll probably be lightweight. I'm going to use my damp um, beauty blender. She's really red. Hold on, let me blend it in some more. Swatches on my chest. I don't know if you guys can see it. Putting it on my chest. Um, I don't know if I like it with. I don't think I like putting it on with the sponge, so I'm gonna try the brush. I'm just gonna use an e.l.f. powder brush. This is an OG brush. It's like three, four dollars. It works really good. So I'm actually gonna just drop this on my face. This side is very lightweight. Like, it doesn't even feel like I have anything on. Yeah, it definitely works better with the um, brush than the sponge. Probably because it's so watery. The sponge is like soaking. I feel like it was soaking up the product. <laughs> Y'all, it doesn't even feel like I have anything on my face. Let me finish putting this on. Y'all, it feels like I have nothing on my face. My moisturizer is heavier than this. This is crazy. This is a good thing. Because it's hot. It's summertime. It does seem to have like a natural finish. I wouldn't say that it's matte. It's definitely not dewy. It just looks like my skin. If I didn't have like a bunch of marks on my skin. Um... I still have like a couple of, I feel like you can still see a couple of um, scars, like little pimples I accidentally busted. 
So I'm about to just put on one more layer on my cheek area. Well, this is also where I did the sponge, so soaked up a lot of the product. Oh yeah, that's better. Get down to the neck, y'all. So far, I am liking this. Like, I don't feel it on my face at all. I'm gonna set it with the No Filter Setting Powder in Medium Deep. When I ordered the foundation, I went ahead and ordered two new colors of the um, ColourPop Conce uh, No Filter Concealer. Y'all, I had 46. That color was so goddamn light, and it didn't even dawn on me till I was going to lunch one day. And because the lighting in your house is so different than outside lighting, especially when you get ready in the morning. I was at the traffic light, you know, trying to be cute, take a selfie, and then I look at this. I was like, my face was a completely different color than my than my body. I was like, oh hell no, I've been walking around all morning looking crazy. So I drove my ass right home and put on a whole bunch of powder that's powder to tone that down. I was like, I can't be walking around looking crazy like that. Anyways, I got um the deep dark 50. And then I also got Deep Dark 58 to use as a contour. I might as well try that. Just trying to get that free shipping. Yeah, this looks more like my color than um, damn number 46. It's like, girl, what the hell were you ordering? Am I tripping or did they change the names from when they first launched? Because I feel like I didn't order that bright when they first launched and they might have changed the names. And I got 58 for the contour. I probably could have went a shade lighter with the concealer. I don't really see like a high low. But it's okay for what I'm doing now. We're not about to be doing too much today. I'm about to set the concealer with the banana powder. Actually, when I put on the banana powder, it does kind of brighten it up a little without looking like how I was looking the other day. I'm gonna bronze and finish the rest of my makeup off camera and then I'll be right back. All right guys, so I finished doing my makeup and I'm gonna do a wear test. The time is now 11.56. So I'm gonna wear this throughout the day. I'm gonna go run these urns. I'm gonna go get something to eat. I'm about to hit these streets and I'll be back. All right guys, so I'm back. The time is now 4.19. And the, I think the foundation held up really, really well. It is so lightweight. It honestly feels like I have nothing on my face. The only thing I feel like I have on my face is like my lipstick, lip gloss. That's the only thing I really, really feel on my face. It's extremely hot. Where I live at now, it is 92 degrees with a humidity of like 110. It feels like 100 degrees outside. So it is very hot. And like, I was comfortable. The only thing I have is crease, creasing, but it's only one crease. It's not both. I get this. I get it no matter what I wear. <laughs> I want to find something that I will not crease, but like it's something that I can easily touch up. I have not touched up my face. I have this nice summer glow. I actually, yeah, this nice summer glow. It's comfortable, it's breathable, it's lightweight. I think that I am gonna order um, the color down because I am planning to get into this, or the color up, the color down, the next color, darker, because I am planning to get a little bit more sun, so I'm gonna get a little bit more darker, and this color matches me like perfect, but when I get a little darker, it's not gonna match. The next color, down is what color this is one night deep dark 195 the next color is deep dark 200 which is neutral with the reddish pink undertone when I get darker I tend to read more red 
So I'm going to get that as my summer one just in case. And because it's $12. I'm going to touch up just like my smile line areas using the medium deep just to see if I can like actually get rid of this disrespectful line. At the end of the day, I 100% recommend this foundation. It is the perfect summer foundation because it is so lightweight. It is medium to buildable so you can definitely build up if you want more of a full coverage look. Um, and you can't beat it guys, it's $12. I really like the banana powder. The banana powder is really good. I'm gonna actually um, mix this with my Sasha Buttercup and come up with a little concoction and see how, how that works, but I'm gonna try that later on. But I really like the banana powder. And the uh, medium deep setting powder, it's nice. I mean, it's, it's a setting powder. Like, I have a bunch of them and honestly, it's. I don't really reach for it. I try to when it's like in front of my face, but the thing that I mostly reach for is my banana. Now I definitely recommend the foundation and I most definitely recommend the banana powder. I really like these. I want to order some more. If you like this video, please don't be shy. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. There are a lot of foundations and new products coming out this summer and I really do want to try as many as I can, especially since brands are now catering, starting to cater to us chocolate girls, even though I'm really still only gonna deal with the ones who at least gave me an option in the past. But you know, at least they trying. So, um, thanks for watching, peace.